Welcome back Seahawks, this is Seahawks Central Sports and I can't wait to get started. I'm Betsy Aguirre. And I'm Peyton. I thought we were supposed to match. What the f Sarah? Oh my God. Welcome back Seahawks, this is Seahawks Central Sports and I can't wait to get started. I'm Betsy Aguirre. And I'm Peyton Goodwin. We have some action packed stories for you guys, so let's get started. was the 16th annual Landfall Tradition Golf Tournament hosted by our UNCW's women's golf team. Over the past 16 years of the tournament, over $300,000 have been raised for Seahawk golf. The ladies started off the weekend strong, led by sophomore Mai Wen, who was tied for the 16th at the end of day one. With the help of Wen, junior Eleonora Moisio, and senior Liberty Anderson, the Seahawks were able to finish the tournament in 10th place out of 18 teams. At the start of the landfall tradition, UNCW was ranked 84th in the nation, but this tournament proved that they could hang with the best of them as they placed ahead of five of the top 40 teams, including number 19, Notre Dame, and number 14, Florida. Nice job, ladies. The women's golf team will head into the offseason until February, where they will pick back up again for the UCF Challenge in Orlando. The women's basketball team kicked it off hot with their first exhibition match against Greensboro College right here in Trask Coliseum this past Sunday. The Lady Hawks had a great first outing led by the honorable mention pick for the preseason All-Colonial Athletic Association team, Madison Rocky. Rocky pulled out an 18.8 rebound, 5 assist game while shooting 6.15 from the field and 3.9 from the three-point range. Sophomore duo Lacey Suggs and Mariah Crisp also had great afternoons for the Seahawks. Suggs had 15 points along with 7 rebounds, while Crisp scored 12 points along with 4 assists. The Lady Hawks really started to take control of the contest when they outscored Greensboro College 28-8 in the second quarter to take a 45-19 lead at halftime. The final score was UNCW 81 and Greensboro 37. We got to catch up with Coach Barefoot after the expedition win. Check it out. I was just so excited when I walked out uh, with this team. It was, it, it was a moment that I just had to pause for a minute because it's a special group of girls and um, so I had to take that in and once I did I started looking around the trash there was a lot of people in the stands so there is a buzz out there talking about this women's basketball program and I'm very excited about it um, today was a team effort um, you know everybody just scrapping getting after it trying to force tempo um, on the defensive end and, and you know we got some transition buckets um, we executed the half court set um, everybody shared the ball, and we were very aggressive. I mean, Lacey um, is all over the place. <laughs> she, you know, in there rebounding, she's on the floor, she's playing post, she's playing guard. I mean, she does it all. And then you got Madison, who was an excellent leader today. Um, not just scoring the basketball, because I think she could be one, she's one of the best scorers in the CA, um, but she does other things like lead our team. So I'm super proud of these two, and I'm super <coughs> proud of this team and how they played today. I think that. We'll go back to the drawing board. We'll fix some things, um, especially rebounding. We got to work on that a little better. Um, but I like what I saw today. Got the jitters out, and I'm excited to be here. Men's Seahawks soccer also had an eventful weekend, and we got Gabby in the studio for more. UNCW men's soccer wrapped up this weekend against Northeastern with a 1-0 win with a goal by sophomore Philip Goodrum. They look ahead to competing in the CAA tournament as they secure the number two seed in the CAA as they close out this season 10-6-0. This team has had a roller coaster of a year on the field and off. I had the chance to sit and talk with redshirt senior Julio Mancada, who was recently featured by Seahawk Digital Network. Check it out, Seahawks. It's always, um, you know, those feelings that you, you're leaving soon. But I was excited, honestly, for my teammates to, to go out there and, and get the game and get the win. And thankfully, we got the win and we got a bye to the playoffs. So going into playoffs and, and try to be uh, better than the other teams and work hard and and just go with a championship mentality because we won we won we won this I just want to say thank you for the for everybody that came out and support us hopefully we're gonna win the playoffs and we're gonna be back here and play a NCAA uh, tournament game here at home well I think that'll do it for us here at Seahawk Central Sports don't forget to check us out at UNCW Teal TV on YouTube and Facebook I'm Betsy Aguirre and I'm Peyton Goodwin Keep up with our Twitter page at TillTV underscore sports. Until next time, remember to be real and keep it teal. Happy, Happy Halloween! Halloween.